Hi, everybody. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video on um, how to mute or remove participants if you're having some disruptions in class, um, especially for the middle school students who are going to be on these chats or these discussions online most days for their classes, um, or at least a lot of the days, a good chunk of the days. So let me share my screen. I'm actually in a Google Meet with myself right now, just to show you as this example, um, to show you what it would look like. Okay, so this is what the screen generally looks like. Yours should look similar. Um, up here at the top right, there is um, a little, like some people and a number, <laughs> and that should show you the participants that are in the call. Um, so you will be at the top, you're the person who made the call. And then below that, you should have names of students. Um, this is just, this is me. So this is the example. Um, let's say this person, this Jackie Barnes is being really disruptive and just going, ah! or maybe they don't even intend it. Maybe their younger brother or sister is screaming in the background and it's just really disruptive and they don't know how to mute themselves. Um, if you go over here, not next to you, but next to each participant, there should be a little down arrow here, like this little this little guy, once you go over their name. And if you click on that, it shows uh, three additional options that weren't there before. Um, this middle one is the mute button. So that might be something you use if you need to. Um, if you click mute, it says mute Jackie Barnes for everyone on the call. That means no one can hear them once you mute them. Only Jackie Barnes can unmute themselves. Um, and I'm gonna click yes for that right now. Um, so yeah, that is one, one thing to keep in mind is that um, I, I, I can't think find a solution right now for that, is that once you mute a student, only they can unmute themselves. Um, so, I mean, if, if it's someone who's really being disruptive, um, you can, there's another solution that I'll show you. Um, but if it's somebody just needs to mute temporarily, like they also want to be able to unmute if they have a question to ask. So, um, that's your option. So if you're, if it's a serious problem, if there's a lot of background noise and, um, this isn't working, so just the mute option, two other things you can do. So over here on the right, um, there's a little button that says remove that will remove a student from your chat. So if, you know, they're being really disruptive, um, if they need to go, then that will remove them from the call. Um, this button over here is kind of the opposite. If you want to pin that person to the screen, if they're speaking, then that will make them the big window in the screen. Um, the other thing that I'd recommend if, if you're having issues with background noise or um, a lot of chat, then you can do a view only um, Google Meet session. And I have another video on how to do that. And so if, if it's a situation where you don't want a lot of discussion, you just wanna present and then you want people to be able to watch it live, then I recommend doing that, the live stream, the view only Google Meet. Um, Again, that's in another video that you can find on the channel. Um, but in short, you have to go through your Google Calendar and create an event and then add a live stream. Um, you can just email that link that gets created to all of your students and say, like, I'll see you Thursday at 2 using this link. And they can watch you live, but they won't be able to ask questions or call out or um, participate in that way. So depending on the lesson, that might be what you want. Um, I hope this was helpful. So I'll, I'll see you later, guys. Bye.